A NASA spacecraft is on its way to Mars to study the deep interior of the red planet. That's right. The InSight lander blasted off Vandenberg Air Force Base early this morning. And KCAL 9's Joy Benedict is live in Manhattan Beach to show us the pre-dawn launch. And it was very cool this morning, Joy. It was cool, Amy. I know you saw it on your way into work. I saw it already out here. It didn't take long after liftoff where we saw it sort of just go over the horizon. It wasn't visible for very long, but for those who got up early to watch, they say they wanted to see it to see history. Three, two, zero. It was a countdown for history, the first mission to Mars ever launched from the West Coast, and that had many up early searching the stars. When do you get to wake up and see something that's on its way to Mars? From the Manhattan Beach Pier, it was a red dot heading to the red planet shooting across the skyline. It looks like it dropped a booster there and maybe another one over there. A moment to pause, point, take a photo, or simply watch, and those who got up got quite a view. You could just see like a lot of orange flare right off the back of that thing. And it, I was glad it wasn't snoozing because it was right on time. 4.05 in the morning to be exact. It was visible from the beach for less than 10 minutes, but its journey to Mars will take months. What it made me think of? A lightning bug going across the sky. <laughs> Because that's all it was, is a little red dot. But that seemingly small dot is oh so much more. The Atlas rocket is carrying the Mars lander, instruments designed to give Mars its first real checkup since it formed four and a half billion years ago. It has a seismometer to detect Mars quakes and a probe that will monitor the flow of heat from the planet's interior, information that may help us learn more about our own planet. That's kind of amazing that like something that small is going that far. And amazing to watch. Signatures look good. Whether through NASA's cameras or the naked eye, this launch had many looking up and looking forward to what's to come. I think that's good for our country, good for everyone, and uh, good for the galaxy. What's better than good for the galaxy, right, guys? Well, listen, you're going to have to wait a little bit longer before this actually lands, as we said. Although it's going really fast, it's going to take a really long time to make it to Mars. So set your calendars for November the 26th. That is the Monday after Thanksgiving, Cyber Monday. That is when it's going to land on Mars and hopefully give us a better view of that planet and, of course, what's inside of it. So certainly a lot of fun to be had. And I know a lot of folks are going to be watching for that day to see what we can learn. We sure are, Joy. I can't believe it's going to take so long to get there, though.